Okay, my friends. Who's here? This little uh, four horsepower pressure washer has come back. Uh, the owner put it in his garage and the wife and, and him could smell gas. Now, I'm not... My nose isn't that good. But when I reach up underneath here, right there, there's the smallest amount of moisture on my hand, eh? Are you guys looking at the same thing I'm looking at? Yeah. So I'm going to just gently <laughs> remove this carburetor. And this is the one bill where I can take the carburetor off without removing the muffler. It's a little 3.8 horsepower to come see. A little slightly smaller uh, shroud. Now this is the whole key right here. Let me just get some light so I can see the witness. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's all the way around there. Okay. Let me get a picture of that. I'm going to check and see if that's gas line I put on there or if that's old gas line. This is the tank. Now we can get this gas line off here. Now is that old gas line or is that new gas line? Yeah, that'll work. Much wet, eh? Well, we might as well have a look inside. A little socket, I think, would be nice. Half inch. Guess we might as well get a tray in. Gas looked old again. What is happening? Let's get a clean jar. And look at the fuel. Oh, that's good. Okay. It's good. Fuel looks fine. I'm going to pressure test this. I'm just going to turn down the heat. Okay, let's look at this fuel line. There's no markings on it, eh? Let's just pressure test this a little. Leaking. Okay, so it's only holding five pounds or less. I think I'm going to put a full carb kit in this thing. And I hope, but I want to check. Okay. One step up. 
I'm going to squirt a little bit of bubbles on this connection here. Oh yeah, it's leaking. Gosh, Dick, what do I do with that? Okay, this is loose. It sure is. Right, so there's the uh, carburetor with the bowl back on, the brand new inlet that I got off a carburetor that Mick sent me. And it's pressed on nice with my, with my uh, big C-clamp. And it's holding five hours, or five, it's holding five pounds in a wild state. Like just laying there. I want to get a picture of this for my buddy, Dick. I've had a fair bit of trouble with this guy. Eh? So I'm going to take a picture of the new inlet. Be right back. So this was pressure tested to 10 pounds, and the brass float and needle pressure tests to five pounds. So that's going to work. Once again, thank you Ken. From Ken's Small Engine Repair, Mr. mow -it -all. He's been a good friend to me. So we're going to put this Back together again. So I used the old needle, the new seat. I used I put in a new seal even though it wasn't necessary. And then there's our old cracked inlet. So that's garbage. Thanks for watching this one, guys. It was fun. Okay, we're back together again. And uh, let's just see if it goes. I'm only going to run it for a little while, so don't worry about that, guys. So, three quarter throttle. One, two, three, four, five. That'll do. Now, I'm going to put a, I guess it was leak. Oh. Yes, I'm back. I'll back you up a little bit now. Because it was leaking, I'm going to stick a rag underneath all the fuel system. If I can't, If anything drips, if anything drips, I'll know. And once again, 
it was just this aged connector here that started to leak right right there thanks my friends it's always a pleasure to share my time with you